hello YouTube today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a custom firmware in your PSP so that you can play games that you've downloaded from the internet at first what you need to know is what firmware is your PSP running on my PSP is running on 6.39 which I'm going to show you right now there you can see the version 6.39 which means I have to download and install a custom firmware related to my firmware 6.39 if I try to install a cu custom firmware related to a firmware related to other firmware such as 6.20 or 6.35 then it will break my PSP so don't try that now if you want to install custom firmware in your PSP connect your PSP to your computer Once it is connected, you can open up the PSP folder and keep it minimized for a while. So you can already see that I have all I have already in downloaded the 6.39 Pro Beat custom firmware. What I'm going to do is open it, extract these two folder only, fast recovery and pro update, because these two folder are the important thing. The others are kind of useless so i have to paste this folder in psp game under this game section i have to paste this folder these two folder so i already have these two folder so i'm not going to paste it so after you're done here close the window and disconnect your psp so once disconnected go to game section under game section there are two two folders you can see pro update and pro fast recovery go ahead and launch pro update out here you can install as well as uninstall a custom firmware i have already made a video on how to unmod a jailbroken psp if you go to my channel you can see that video so here are four options you can see press X to launch custom firmware press triangle to uninstall custom firmware hold L to reinstall custom firmware press R to exit so what you have to do is press X to launch custom firmware it's installing the custom firmware let's start the custom firmware <coughs> excuse me so so I have successfully installed the custom firmware in order to check that go to the system settings go to system information and you can see that 6.39 pro v8 custom firmware is installed successfully so now I'm going to show you how to play a game that you have downloaded from the internet for that go again and go to USB connection and connect your PSP to your computer in your computer open up the root folder of PSP so out here you can see uh, ISO folder where you have to paste the game that you have downloaded from the internet the PSP games are mainly ISO or CSO while both ISO CSO games work in if you paste it out here and if you don't have any folder named ISO don't worry just create a folder and name it ISO and ISO should be in all caps so once you are done here, close your this window and get back to the PSP. So go to game, under game, go to memory stick. So you can see the Monster Hunter Portable 3rd game. The last thing that I am going to say you is about the fast recovery. This is the thing which is used to relaunch the custom firmware when your PSP resets I'm going to show you that in order to reset your PSP just hold the power button for a while turn it back on you can see the P my PSP is rebooting once the rebooting is done go to system settings under system setting go to in system information 
here you can see it's again back to normal version 6.39 that means the custom firmware is not uninstalled but it's deactivated in order to relaunch it go to memory stick and just this time go to just in just need to enter the recovery mode hit it So you have successfully relaunched the custom firmware. In order to check, go to system settings, go to system information. So you can see the custom firmware is launched again. I, the, I will give you the link, a download link of uh, 6.39 Pro B8 custom firmware and 6.20 Pro B6 custom firmware and some other download links useful download links if you find this video helpful please rate this video it really means a lot to me this is duke5961 signing out